Queen Elizabeth the second passed away and today was the funeral of Queen Elizabeth, the late Queen Elizabeth. And the people around the world, whether they like her or not, they all were struck to see the procession and the funeral as if something got disconnected from them, the reasons the whole world could not understand how an ordinary lady, even without a stick in her hand, just walking and the whole world walks behind. Just an ordinary lady could control the whole world. Just her smile and the walk is sufficient. Queen Elizabeth II said, Grief is the price we pay for love in the whole of Great Britain and several countries are grieving on her death on her passing away, on the disconnection because they would love to see some moment of her living. They would love to see her. Especially the women in the world felt something great about one small lady. It is possible neither for male or female. There is not a difference. But they could feel that the female stood still control the total world. 500 world leaders descended into London. Grief is the price we pay for love, and the love shocks them, cracks them. I think something moved out. Now, who will control? Who will run? The world listened to every moment of Queen Elizabeth. Grief is the price we pay for love. It is in the materialistic world. Hence, Zen kept on telling, listen to the sound of the one hand clapping. When you are in love, your name is love. When you are in the grief, you are in grief. They do not differentiate this and that. In India and Nepal also practices when a person has been declared the holy person or the next in charge of the church or the temple. The first training given to them is if anybody comes and tells you anything, you have no right to explain anything to them. If they say somebody is dead, you don't even show the face expression of sadness. Somebody says something is good, you don't even show their face expression of their happiness. You are neither this or that. Neither you will advise them or say. That training might be very difficult for the materialistic world. Hence, the grief comes. You are moved into a painful strategy. Queen Elizabeth to the grief is the price we pay for love. Yes. And if something happens to our love, we feel the pain as if we got disconnected. And this happens too much with our nucleus family. And 
when that happens, when one of the partner dies, they suffer a lot psychologically. Then they have to spend a lot of money on the medical hospitals. Then the loot game continues to loot them. Hence, from centuries, we made sure the family is not a nucleus family. You cannot cut the body into pieces because the left hand decides, I can't stay in the body. So the right hand says, come, we both will take another house and stay together. We don't want to help the right leg and the left leg. We do not want to help the stomach or the eyes. Uh -huh. When the brain says move the right, I have to move the right. So the 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 left hand girl comes and tells the husband, the right hand, come, we'll have a separate house. They go to a separate house. And think how the body will be like that. Hence, from time immemorial, they kept on telling, no, no, no. Our family is together. We have to stay in the joint family. So that if somebody dies also, there are so many people who don't live in grief and that continues to create medical problems. But the society wants you, the society wants you to live in the nucleus family. The society wants you to live together, you, you will not have medical problems. Then how will the medical fraternity run big, big hospitals? Unless you live in pain. Queen Elizabeth said, Grief is the price we pay for love. No. Love is love. You can give as much love as possible. But it becomes like the Buddhist nun. She was in love with the Buddha statue. She decided she has married the Buddha itself, like the Christian churches. The nuns so taught that they are married Jesus, and Jesus Christ is their husband and God, and they have to serve him. So the Buddhist nun also decided she carries her husband, the Buddha idol, wherever she goes. And she lights the incense. And she found the incense, the smoke, most of the other idols also, which she don't like. It. The other idol next to them is also Buddha by the other nuns. So she created a, a pipe so that the incense smoke goes to the pipe and falls only into her Buddha statue. And after some days, she found there is a difference between this, her Buddha, the idol, her God, her lover, her husband. Different from the other Buddhas. She looked at other Buddhas. You are looking so much bright, but her Buddha has become has become black in color because the incense smoke falls into the face and it's darkened the face. When you are in love only with one person and you don't allow that incense to spread it, that darkness enters. That darkness is called a disease. And this disease was allowed by the community, by the rich. Hence, when Queen Elizabeth II said, Grief, the price we pay for love. It is truth if you are in the nucleus family. We come to the joint family. And the family tree, you forget because by the time you want to cry, another thing falls. Like what happens in Rakum school. Before I or my children, senior members would like to cry for something. 
before we the first year comes somebody else comes for one problem he was pensions he was admissions he was this one he was that one this happened by the time the cow cow was screaming the cow was given birth another cow has died by the time the cow, the, the pet animals is fallen sick god flowing water is fresh water is stagnant water is this non stuff this is the way senses this listen to the sound of the one and clap and that was the sound it is neither grief neither love they loved queen else but the people millions of people lying about yes but they know what they do not get attached to that grief 